What's going on guys, it's your boy Fix-It Daniel, and we are back. Today, I am going to be doing another collaboration with Magic Tech Review. We are going to be working on his bike, and we're going to be showing you guys what we've what we've added to his bike and what, how we're going to improve it. So let us get into it right now. So we are going to be, we got a lot of jets because we don't know what kind of jets he's got. Okay. So we've got a bunch of them here. We're just going to go through them all, but we'll know when we finally get it taken apart. But first we're just going to work on the needle, the, um, the needle part, which right. is, um, this part up here. Yeah. We're going to start with just moving it down a notch and then seeing how that works. Cause it's really quite easy. So, all right. So we're going to come over to his bike and get this thing on done. We'll be doing this one handed. Oh, Oh, did they open this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Wrong key. Wrong, Wrong key. Too many keys. Yeah, there's one trunk here. Yep. All right, so we're gonna open that. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I right. like it better that way, so nobody just, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wanna knock your hey, thing over. Hey, some mic, what's up? <clears throat> all right, so we're gonna get this all opened up. I got my tools right here. Brought them all this time. <laughs> well, last night's video was pretty cool, man. All right. Once the hotel. So we're going to get these off here. Do this one handed. Yeah, I, need, I, need to, I need to get a, like, a freaking soccer set. Oh, yeah. Something like this would be perfect. <clears throat> and even if you didn't get just this, even if you got this, yeah. then you could just, just find the pieces that you need and keep those. The major pieces. Because most of the stuff you won't need because it's too big but um if you actually just get what you need to take off whatever you need like the the belt part that's pretty much how that goes all right moped's making a comeback what's up uno the vibes the vibes yes oh yeah dude i see mopeds everywhere now bro this shit is nutty <laughs> gas prices are crazy <laughs> yeah well they're, they're actually getting a little bit nicer now so all right. So, what's he doing to my bike? So, he's gonna be he's gonna be uh, making it richer, right, a little bit richer. Off. So he's gonna be dialing the screw what back or forward. Or what so do? there's an idle needle in the carb in the uh, carburetor. Yeah. So we j he just added a CDI box, yeah. which is basically takes away all of the revs. So there's no rev limiter. There's no nothing. He can rev as much as he wants, and that'll give him more power. But everything that you add, you have to, something needs to be adjusted. In this case, we're going to give him a little bit more fuel because with the CDI box revving so high, with the way it is now, it's not getting a, a, um, the extra power that the CDI box is unleashing. So by doing so, we're going to be um, uh, raising up, get, making it just a little bit richer to give him some extra power out of it. So hopefully this all works out pretty good. No, you don't need to. No, I'm taking it off? Oh, because of the screws are still yeah, yeah, sitting there. Yeah, yeah. I didn't take them all the way out. I thought yeah, I did. Yeah, look at the two YouTubers. Two YouTubers that don't have chest mounts. <laughs> yeah, I forgot my chest mount today. It's okay, though. So we're going to try and do, tackle this one-handed. Here, set this down. There we go. We'll just close the box. And then, whoo. I'm going to break it. There we go. We'll sit it right down so we don't break this. All right, all right, guys. So now we are in the the part of the bike that we need to get to. So here's this carburetor. You know, this is the man, uh, manifold going into the motor air box right here. So what we're going to start with is taking off this. There's a diaphragm under here with the needle. That um, this is what uh, raises and lowers, allowing extra fuel. So there's a little seat clip on it. So if you go down, you're making it rich. If you lift up. You're making it lean. You don't want to go lean. Lean is no good. You want to be more rich than lean. You go lean, you're still going to start breaking stuff. You go rich, it's not that bad. It's just a lot more extra fuel, but you're not going to burn or break anything up. So let me get my Phillips head. Let's see, Phillips head. There it is. All right. So we got our we got our Phillips head. 
So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off. So, just crack this a little bit here. Don't lose my screws. Man. No, definitely not gonna lose your screws because this thing is spring-loaded. So, we'll set that right there. Spring-loaded. Huh? Oh yeah. Yep. Oh shit. Yep. That's okay. Yeah, at least he knew. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> I knew. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take that. That's actually pretty good, so I can take it off with my hand. So I take this off by hand. It's Manon says, so you dropping it and putting in a body kit too? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here we go. All right. Oh shit! Yeah, I see that. I see that spring for sure. There's a spring here. Pull this out. And then we're ever so gently going to pull this diaphragm. And there is going to be a needle. Oh, wow. So there's a needle right there. So it's all in there. So we're going to figure out how I can do this. Okay. There we go. And you are just like my brother's bike. So you have no adjustments. Wow, look at that. So as you see, he's like my brother's bike. There's really no adjustments. Okay. So, but it looks like we could move it down under this little, there's this little gasket or this little um, O-ring. You can focus if this thing will focus. There's a little O-ring, this is a little black O-ring. So what we could do, we could just move it from the top to the bottom and that'll make it a little more richer. So we're just gonna do that and see how that works. Cause this is a very short needle. So. I would put I would put the needle I have in there, but the problem is is that these are certain heights with these carburetors. Uh -huh. In order to get the better the better long one like I have, we would have to upgrade your carburetor, which is not a big deal. I actually got an extra one. <laughs> I actually got an extra one at home. I could probably just give you. So we're going to see if I can move this over. I'm going to have to put my camera down. So all right. So what we're going to do? We're just going to pop this off ever so easy. This is the fun part because we don't want to lose this. So here, let's come. Okay. Yep. Thing here because we do not want to lose this. So we're going to pull this off nice and easy. So, like so. Then we're going to put it under instead of over. So we're just basically going to put it right back on. But this gasket is going to be above it instead of below it. I don't want to lose this because if I lose this, it's going to be gone. There we go. Pretty much like that. I'm going to make sure it's all nice and on there. And everything. And I just lost the little o ring. Great. <laughs> I just lost the o ring. I just lost the o ring. Oh no. You know what? I just lost the O-ring. How about that? Oh, yeah. See how this stuff goes so fast, so quick, guys? Oh, and that thing. Oh, there it is. Okay. I think I'm... Yeah. All right. Got it. Now let's put this thing back on here before we lose it. Yes, please. <laughs> here, I'll just hold both cameras, bro. It's fine. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put this back in here. Goes right back down in this hole, just like that. Put this little piece back on top, which holds it down in place. We're gonna stick it back in, like so. Just press it. Make sure it gets back in this little cup here. So we're gonna push this down, just like that. And adjust this just a little bit. Up. Needs to be in that hole exactly. So, it's kind of a trick. There we go. I think we got it in there. Oh, yeah. Come on, get in the hole. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> or he. Or he. <laughs> Alright. Come on, get nice and in there. It's kind of a trick because you have to get it right in that hole or it will not seat right. And I think I got it. Okay. Here, 
Let's pull this out real quick. Let's put this little cap piece back on it. It's kind of a trick. You have to get it to hold. All right. Make sure that's in there. Get that nice and lined up. Fun. This is fun. This thing will not stay. Come on, get in that hole. I think I gotta come on. Push down. Nope. Lining this thing up is not exactly a fun thing to do. So, here's what we're gonna do. Let's see if we can. Okay, so there we go. What It's more like pinning the tail on a donkey for some odd reason. Alright. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. Okay. We're going to set this down for a sec. Not a big problem. Let's get this back in the hole where it's supposed to go, and then that should probably be making it more easier to line it up. All right, take our needle. Boom. Got it? Yep. Nice. And then put this little plastic cap on top. Like so. Yay. We'll grab our spring. Spring goes right in there. Spring action. Make sure this is over it. It is. We'll hold it down and put the screws back. Simple. Nice. So this is a small adjustment fix. Um, I think if we wanted to do anything more, we would do jets, or we would uh, we would get you a different carburetor, which I think a different carburetor would be more better because you get a longer needle and you can make a lot more adjustments. But for, we start small. We'll start small and then kind of go from there. So, that's what we'll do. Other one on here. I guess think it's tiny. Oh yeah. But you get miles. <laughs> you get some good miles on there. Yeah. All right. Should be good. So we'll go ahead and just give it a give it a start and see what happens. Yep. All we gotta do is take it for a spin. All right, Let's see how he likes it. Well, let's get all this back on. Well, I mean, there's no other adjusting, so. No other it's adjusting. Either, it's either that or put it back. Yep. Now, I think you got the same kind of needle. Um, uh -huh. I'd have to look at the old one, but I think you can use the same kind of needle I have in that kit. Yeah. But your needle is really small, so it's, that's something different I never thought of. Oh. So I've never been told my needle's small. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so we will have to see about maybe doing an upgrade, which is not a big deal. You uh -huh. can do an upgrade and still stay kind of in the same realm. Yeah. Um, or just see if we can find a more serviceable carburetor because these, this carburetor is not serviceable. 
Okay. So we could always just get you same carburetor, just more better serviceable. And then that'll be fine because then you can do all the adjustments you want. You can change the needles. Uh, jets on here, you can change the jets on here. Those are, still, those are fine, but your carburetor is a non-serviceable carburetor, which uh -huh. means we have to hack those, those break-off bolts just to get to the, the fuel injector, and that's a lot work. You might as well just go ahead and just get yourself a serviceable carburetor and then put it back in here, and then you can do all the, all the tuning you want. Okay. All right, so I think I'm gonna have to call the uh, FAA to get clearance. Let's <laughs> take off here. Alright. That's it. Alright. So, see how he does with us. With a nice, good ride. See how it all goes. Now this isn't going to give a whole lot of uh, horsepower gain. The feel will be different. It'll be a lot more smoother. It'll be a, uh, just a lot more of a better ride for him because he's got the CDI box he just installed. So with the CDI box being um, unlocking the rev, he needs to um, have the fuel be a little richer just to help compensate with that because as anything, even if you did like a supercharger or a turbo, you wouldn't stay with the stock fuel settings. You would want to go up more, bigger jets, bigger fuel pump. Um, so that way you can get more volume that the supercharger or the turbocharger is producing. Now, then the scooter is the exact same thing, just that all the parts are bolt on. So if you do anything like a, an exhaust or a bigger displacement, or anything that would change the different settings from what the bike originally is, you have to up something. So you can't just put a CDI box in and then expect it just to work off the CDI box. You have to make a fuel adjustments. You have to do a lot of tweaking to get the performance set and the feel that you want out of it. So here he comes, he's coming right back and we'll see how it feels. So how does it feel? Yeah. So, yeah, because I was just telling them that it's not going to be a whole lot, but that's a start. So, if we wanted to do more, we'd have to really get a better needle and uh, or a better carburetor so that way we can start upping your jets. But for what you have with the CDI box, that's a nice step in the right direction. So, now if you wanted to do an air box, that's when I would say, okay, we should probably go ahead and... Uh, start getting a better carburetor because um, when we start if you wanted to go to like a cold air intake that's going to change the whole entire way the bike's going to run you're going to have to you have to go a bigger maybe even a uh, some people say go up a couple of jet sizes just by changing the air box because you're getting more air mm -hmm. so when you have to get more air you need more fuel yeah, so it. so yeah so uh, one last one last thing that we were going to do oh yeah is the uh so the last time we did the video, I couldn't get into his transmission box because it was torqued on. Not knocking the person that did it, it's just that it doesn't need to be that tight. So if he ever had a broken belt, he wouldn't be able to access his bike. So he would actually have to take it back, they'd have to undo it. So we are going to try and see if I can do this one-handed. I don't know if I'll be able to, but we'll see. No, nope, I need my extra hand. So I'm gonna see if Magic Tech will hold on to my camera. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Nope. Nope. It's not holding on. So we may have to have him. Oh, but there's one. Yeah, you got that one the last time. Yeah. Let's see if I can get another one. Okay, there's one. Is there another one? Yep, there's another one. Here, let's get you on your center stand. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to do it like that. I'm strong, but I ain't that strong. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing. Nope. Okay. 
So we may have to have him go back to the guy who took him off and take him off. That oh, way, I thought you had your thing with you, no? Huh? I do have it, but it's only for the big stuff. I don't uh, have a small enough uh, takeoff thing to get that off, shit. unfortunately. Okay. So, so I got that one. So it's just uh, just some of these bolts are really on there, and I don't want to strip it because if you strip it, then you're definitely going to have a hard time getting it off. Yeah. So actually, okay. let me see. I think we tried doing this last time. I don't think it worked. Let me try one more time. I really like to get this off and show people the inside. I mean, people can see it on my bike, on my brother's bike, but yeah, uh, we may have to have him get those off. Such a, such a bummer. Mm. But yeah, because it, it, it would be helpful to have this off, be able to get this off easy because as you ride over the months, and you know, years that you ride it, you want to make sure everything is good. You don't want to make sure you're, you don't want to wait for your belt to break to find out, oh great, I need a new belt. So um, I always like taking it off every once in a while just to verify that my belt is good. The, the belt's not fraying or anything like that. It's not cracked or it's not going to break because you don't want to be on the verge of this thing breaking and be stranded. Because trust me, if you see my videos, I've told you guys a million times, I've walked my bike for miles home and you don't want to do that. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so no, yeah, I, I would just have the guy that put them on take them off. That way, if he strips it and breaks it, he can replace it. <laughs> so, because um, because these are soft. These are soft. There's no oil in this. There's an air outlet right under here that lets all that hot air out. There's a fan that's turning with the belt to keep this whole entire compartment cool. There's really no need to keep these super torqued because there's no oil. The only oil that it's talking about is the oil for the for the gears. So Okay. So yeah, there's really no need to keep this super tight. It does not need to be that tight. Nice. But, uh, but yeah. Alright. Well I mean at least we did something. We accomplished something today. We did accomplish something, yeah. But um if you guys want to see the inside of the transmission, you can go check out my channel and look at my bike because we have the same exact GY6 motor is I completely identical so what I just did to mine we could do to his very easy so um, I do was just mentioning to him um, stay tuned because as you saw in my last video I broke my belt and demolished it so we are going to be doing a complete full transmission upgrade I'm talking high-speed barrier high-speed high-speed face high, uh, high performance uh, clutch with 1500 RPM springs. And then we are going to, I'm actually gonna leave that for another time because I'm gonna surprise everybody with this. But we're gonna be doing something in the rear and if you see where my finger's pointing, I think you may know if you're a scooter person. But stay tuned for that because it's gonna get real. And I'm hoping that with all the things we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be hitting our 55 marker. Hey. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right guys, well, that's it. We got a scooter fixed. We just moved the the little, uh, the, he has like a little um, O-ring, little rubber O-ring that we moved from the bottom to the top. That should give him a little bit more extra fuel. He took it for a spin. He said it ran a lot, a little bit more better. Um, so that's a good start in the right direction. So next we'll figure out what we're gonna do. We probably will go up a little bit slower, maybe do an air intake or something like that, and then a better carburetor so it can be more serviceable. Because right now it's an unserviceable carburetor, which makes it very difficult to work on on the internals. But he is good to go, and he's good to go smoothing, a smooth ride, and he can be able to, um, you know, do his Uber Eats, and hopefully we'll find out if it's uh, a lot more better or, or just nothing's different. But guys, thanks for coming and watching this collaboration with Magic Tech Review. So. What do you guys say, man? Oh, man, dude. I don't know, man. Just thank you for this, man. <laughs> Definitely. The birds got me, man. Yeah, the birds got him. I got some cleaner in the trunk. I think we can wipe that off and get that taken care of. We'll use the rag if that's on there. So, But, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please go down and like and subscribe and check out Magic Tech Review. He is doing some good stuff with the cell phones and everything. And watching him follow him on his uh, Uber Eats adventures is always so cool. So guys, check them out, check us out, follow us on Instagram. Until the next time, I see you guys on the next fix.